Well, today Simi and I are back down here at the Kansas River, same area that Dan and I fished a few weeks back. I um, was talking to a friend on Facebook and he gave me some ideas about how to fish this a little bit differently. So I went down to the creek last night and caught a bunch of little sunfish and creek chub and uh, kept them in a bucket, put river water in there, got an aerator at Walmart thinking they'd be alive this morning, but when I woke up they were dead. So we're going to go ahead and use them. Um, I was really hoping to use them when they were alive, but anyway, we're going to go ahead and use them and see how we can do. And we also have some dip bait that we can try. Last time Dan and I were sitting right on this Over there? sandbar right there. Today we're going to be sitting here right off this point where the water comes right around the point. And what I'm being told, I'm not I don't have a lot of catfish experience as far as knowledge goes. Like I told you, you know, I'm not that much of a fisherman. I don't have that much knowledge of it. I like doing it casually. I like doing it casually, but my knowledge level honestly is not very great. So anyway, what I'm being told is that as the water comes around this point, these big catfish will sit in here in, in the current up close to the rocks because they're big enough to be able to handle it and deal with the current and they'll wait for smaller fish to get out of control rushing through the current and they'll scoop them up so that that's kinda what I'm being told so the idea was to use these live sunfish and creek chub and drop them in here in the strong current close to the rocks and that's the way to do it. Problem number one, all the fish died. But we're gonna go ahead and use them. So I was also told by someone online that if they die, then to cut them down the middle well, look, it's a and put on them like that so that they'll flap. So I'll try it both ways. I'm gonna try right here, I'm gonna try right there. So, and also I've got some dip bait on I think I'm gonna try, I may try that too. So, that's the idea and we'll see what happens. say my man's gotten bored. Well, this day so far is kind of a bust. The fish were dead to begin with, even though I spent money getting an aerator and all that time trying to get them, so they're dead. Almost got stuck in the mud in the way in here. Haven't had a single bite. I did put on a blood dip bait um, on one of the poles, so now at least I got two different types of baits here. But I'm going to try this again. I'm not, uh, I'm going to figure out a way to get those fish out here and still have them be alive. So, and the next time I do it, I'm going to try the evening time like Dan and I did from like 7.30 to 12. So, even though no fish were caught, it's a learning experience. First time I've tried this and we'll definitely try it again. So, I don't know, I'm going to sit here for a little bit longer and see how it goes. Dingleberry over there is going to play around some more, I imagine. Let's just say his attention span for not catching fish is about 30, 40 minutes. Did you videotape the whole thing over there? Some of it. I'm gonna get in the water back behind this point. Swim around and scare the living crap out of that kid. I'm gonna take the GoPro too and do it. I'm gonna scare the living daylights out of him. Here we go. Yeah. 
Well, our fishing trip is over. Maybe we're gonna swim around a little bit and call it a day. Yeah.